Good evening, guys. It's a great moment for me today, personally, because uh, we were predominantly known as the Surgery Question Bank. And today, we've got an EA surgeon with us, and she has made us all proud. I wanted to do this interview a little earlier because she was in ESS rank one. Uh, she topped names. Uh, and now she's gotten rank two in ESS as well. And she's pursuing her dream branch of head and neck oncology. And let me tell you, head and neck oncology is one of the most interesting and one of the most satisfying branches in entire oncology, especially in a country like India, where it has a huge amount of social impact. So I'm really happy that a very talented, a very determined, and a very passionate person like Latika has topped his exam and has gotten to where she has achieved. Congratulations, Latika. How do you feel today? Thank you, sir. Thank you for such a nice introduction. Sir, I am feeling really very uh, proud. Uh, actually, um, this is very difficult phase for me, and it was a uh, very difficult phase. And it was actually I was feeling that I will not get through it. But with everybody's support, with uh, support of such a uh, nice uh, of your question bank, which helped me a lot, I get through it. And really, this is very good moment and proud moment for me. Or anyone, uh, you thank another like you want to thank anyone very specifically for this particular, uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, actually, like your family, your mentors, or anyone like that. Yes, 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 sir. Actually, first of all, I want to thank you, thanks the God, and then my parents, and my brother, and my whole family and friends. And after that, uh, from where uh, I got the inspiration to go uh, further in the head neck, that is uh, my fellowship time uh, in Tata Medical Center, Kolkata, under Dr. Arun, uh, Dr. Rajiv Sharan, and Dr. Kapila, and Dr. Pratik. Everybody was very nice. They uh, give me a, a further um, uh, way to go through the net, uh, head and neck surgery and uh, to fulfill my uh, dream uh, in head and neck surgery. That's uh, that's a very uh, thoughtful. She has thanked her parents, she has thanked her mentors. I think it's very important to have good mentors, especially people think of ENT as an end speciality and to cross that mindset and get into a, a, a very a tough um, specialty like head and neck oncology deserves uh, a complete place. I think I, Tell us more about yourself. Where did you do your UG? Where did you do your PG? And where did you, where, what were you doing after your ENT? Okay, sir. Uh, first of all, from uh, UG, uh, I have done my UG uh, in uh, Adish Medical College, Bathinda. It's a private medical college. Actually, I belong to uh, Punjab. Uh, and this is a private medical college in uh, Punjab, Bathinda. And uh, PG from uh, Government Medical College, Faridkot. And after that, I uh, uh, join. I have joined uh, Homi Baba Cancer Hospital, which is a part of uh, Tata Memorial uh, uh, Tata Memorial Hospital, Mumbai, which is a branch uh, in the Sangrur. And then I have joined a fellowship in Tata Medical Center, Kolkata. There I was around uh, uh, two point five years, and from there I have uh, mainly I uh, got uh, a basic head neck training. Uh, after that, uh, I have joined as a consultant also in the head neck surgery. And then I resigned from that post because I want a better academic and research experience. So uh, I started preparing for MCH and now I got it. Uh, can I ask something uh, really personal? Because you achieved what you wanted. Uh, you have done a fellowship in Indian oncology. You have become a consultant. Uh, why yes. MCH? So because I want a better uh, academic and uh, research experience, so because uh, so I want to join a medical college uh, and fellowship is not eligible there to join as a assistant professor there. So I uh, want a further uh, better head uh, uh, research and actually academic for academic purpose. So right now you you she 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 top eight and she's now doing her. MCH in Ames, Delhi, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes, sir. And and uh, you're going to quit Ames or you want to... No, uh, sir. Uh, actually, uh, actually, both is the apex institute of this country. Uh, so it's, it is very difficult to decide between the both. So um, actually, I am, I will continue to, uh, Ames, which I, am, I have decided. Uh, let's see further. 
So great. So 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 Latika is confused between uh, data and uh, and, yes, so. <laughs> and and you know what? Um, it's 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 kind of a beautiful scenario because you're confused between two top institutes. And yes, sir. That is yes, kind sir. of confusion which every aspirant would love to have. Yes, sir. So, so it's very, very difficult. You are in a very enviable position. Everybody yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very difficult to decide between the both because both are the best institute of this country. Absolutely. Uh, so, Latika, I uh, want to ask you about your preparation and what role did such just play in your preparation? Yes, sir. Actually, uh, sir, being from the head neck uh, uh, area, so I have uh, actually uh, I have the exposure of a uh, uh, lot of things, uh, and I knew what to read uh, in the starting and how to proceed for the uh, further uh, MCH preparation. So uh, I started my preparation uh, not from the uh, like uh, uh, test, um, not from the uh, like these lectures and books. I joined the test series. And I assessed my performance in the test series. Uh, according to that performance, I read further topics like uh, which question I got wrong. Uh, I uh, further elaborate or read uh, it from the text. So I prepared in that way and made my own notes. Uh, and uh, at the end, I uh, which the notes which I have prepared, I read that. Which uh, which question banks did you use regularly? Well, you, uh, it's uh, the search test question bank, uh, ENT and the onco surgery. So e in the ENT, there the, uh, you have uh, a further uh, uh, divided it into the uh, uh, ear, nose, and uh, larynx part. And one thing I uh, really uh, th one thing that is uh, I found very good is the uh, radiological uh, radiological questions. There are a lot of questions like 50, 60 questions of the from the radiology, and in the needs super speciality also uh, we got uh, two three questions from that uh, area so uh, that is very nice thing and uh, the ENT, like everything like ear is further elaborate into the uh, embryology physiology uh, different question uh, for every part so uh, it was very uh, good uh, to go like this also because more many people uh, do the uh, do like this uh, they start from the lectures and then go for the question banks but i have started from the then prepared my because i knew for the mch what i have to i have to read because i have the exposure in the past uh, from in the head neck uh, did you use the uh, surgical oncology question bank as well yes sir from that uh, that part sir actually uh, what i found that uh, sir uh, onco part has um, helped me a lot in the aims because uh, they there is a direct question from the um, in this uh, our, our uh, book scott brown uh, which i uh, there the, these questions were uh, from the uh, your question bank like parathyroid i have found four question which was there in your test series and the same question with same options almost same options i found in the aims uh, exam so i'm i'm pretty flattered because and my entire question team is going to be happy when they hear this uh, yes, so talking sir. about a bank right now we have around 500 question banks questions on our ent question banks which we are uh, likely to expand and make it around 1,500 questions. So uh, more uh, students can be benefited for me, especially because it's going to be core ENT from now on. And uh, uh, for um, uh, for our surgical oncology question bank also, we are likely to expand and add around 2,000 questions. I'm really glad that uh, students pick up uh, salient features in our question bank like radiology. And you know it's, it's, it's a proud moment for my entire uh, question team as well as the surgical oncology, the head the confounding difficulty and the difficulty. They're all going to be very happy when they uh, uh, hear this. So, Ratika, why head and neck oncology? Like when you are doing a ENT, why did you not just stop with ENT? Because most of your colleagues who have done ENT must be uh, setting up a small hospital, a clinic somewhere, a practice somewhere, doing FES, uh, 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 septoplasty, I mean, you the, the usual thing. What gave you that drive to go and struggle? Sir, actually, when I was I have completed my ENT, I landed into the uh, Tata Memorial uh, uh, Peripheral Branch that is Homi Baba Cancer Hospital, Sangrur. There, uh, there is only uh, uh, head neck surgeries there. 
so uh, i found that surgeries uh, very very nice and they they were doing it matlab uh, in two good way which i have never seen in, in my pg times because that uh, area or uh, fridkot area is not uh, very uh, Um, metro type city it's a very uh, peripheral border type area so i have never seen uh, such a good surgeries there so uh, that that thing that uh, make me uh, to uh, find my uh, myself like uh, i don't want to go for the eng further i want to pursue my career further career um, even i uh, i don't want to uh, do a single surgeries for for ent i'm completely into the head neck I'm the Latika. I think that is very commendable. Uh, Latika, last question. Where do you see yourself ten years down the line? After ten years, sir. Yeah. What are you likely to be doing? Which part of the country? Where do you want to be working? How do you see yourself? Sir, actually, my main aim is I want to uh, be a very um, nice head neck surgeon. Got my every training, academics, and uh, research. After that, I want to serve my own place where I belongs to, like uh, Farid Court uh, nearby, but um, but in. to my uh, hometown place because uh, this is, our area is a very uh, prone to cancer uh, punjab mm-hmm. is there are a lot of cancer patients here and there is not a very good treatment people are getting here so i want to pursue my further uh, ta- after 10 years i see me uh, i want to see myself as a good head neck surgeon in a, my own hometown or nearby my hometown after so many years of study uh, most people would prefer to be in a metro and it's very commendable that latika wants to go back home and serve the people who have who have made a growth so latika has come from a very small place in, in a part of the country it's not a metro yes sir uh, uh, like I, i i i pride myself on knowing a lot of places in india i've traveled quite a bit uh, uh, during my childhood uh, and uh, i'm from south but 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 i've traveled all over the country but i uh, but i couldn't recognize the place where she said she was from and a person who has come from such humble beginnings and she has reached this level top both aims and need assess i think uh, she deserves a whole lot of applause and not just me the entire search test team is very proud of her and we sincerely wish and hope and pray that you achieve your dreams you achieve already some of your dreams you achieve more and more and we also hope and pray that your skills are utilized to serve the society on the whole thank you so much latika thank you so much for being here with us today it's been a great pleasure and honor to have you with us thank you sir thank you